November 1215, you are clear to taxi to runway 1. Hi, I'm Mike Thompson, and this is 121 Point Mike. Time for some more ground school. You've been on planes before, right? So you've looked out the window and probably wondered what in the world all those lights mean. Well, this video is going to make you familiar with all those lights. You're going to have to know this stuff to pass an FAA test and be a pilot anyway. I'm going to present the information in the order that you're probably likely to see it. So if it's an early morning flight, low visibility or ceilings, the first thing you're probably going to see is the airport beacon. The beacon is a rotating light that's green on one side and white on the other. These colors, alternating green and white, mean that it's a civil airport. White and yellow means it's a seaport. White, yellow, and green, it's a heliport. So don't try to land your plane there unless you're in a Harrier or an F-35B. If you see green and then two quick whites, don't land there either. That's a military base. Then you're on your way to the airport parking lot and you might see some flashing white lights. Some just flash and some chase each other and are grouped together. These are approach lights that help a pilot transition from instrument flight to visual flight, you know, by looking out the windshield. My favorite lights are the little short blue taxiway lights. These lights line the edges of the taxiways. Runways are lined with solid white lights and runways with instrument approaches have lights that change color near their far ends to let a pilot know how much runway he's got left. The lights turn amber in the last 2,000 feet or second half of the runway, whichever comes first. The ends of the runways have different colors depending on which side of the runway you're on or looking from. A pilot will see green from the approach end of the runway. Green lights, you know, they mean go so that you can land past these green lights. The departure or the far end of the runway will have red lights. So if you were looking at these up close, which of course you should never do because why are you walking around airport lights? You would see that the light has a red lens on one side and a green lens on the other side. There's no sense in installing separate lights when one will do. Some runways at big airports have runway centerline lights as well. Runway centerline lights are spaced 50 feet apart and they're white until the last 3,000 feet of the runway. Then they alternate red and white for the next 2,000 feet and then they go solid red for the last 1,000 feet. And your plane had better be off the runway by then. Some taxiways have centerline lights as well, and those lights are green. Then there are the pairs of flashing yellow lights on the sides of taxiways and some runways. These indicate a hold short point. These lights look like uh, railroad crossing lights in the way that they flash, except that they're yellow. When you see these lights, you will also see this hold short line painted across the pavement. Hold short means stop until a clearance is given. So don't let any part of your plane cross these lights or lines until ATC gives you clearance. On final approach, you'll see the glide slope indicators. There are several styles, but the two most common are the poppies and the bozzies. Precision approach path indicators and visual approach slope indicators. That's why we don't use the full terms. They're a series of red and white lights that are usually on the left side of the um, approach end of the runway and set back near the touchdown area. They give a pilot a visual indication of the altitude relative to the ideal altitude of their approach. A typical approach angle is three degrees, and the lights will be all red if you're too low, and they'll be all white if you're too high. Equal red and white, and you're all right. There's another type of light that you might see on your test, and that's the tricolor vase, although I've never seen one in real life. Once again, though, uh, green means you're good to go, and red means, well, you're too low. Amber is used to indicate that you're too high, but you also might see amber as you transition just below the ideal glide slope. So you have to watch out um, because it's easy to confuse, I guess, too low for too high. The last type, which I've never seen, but you might on a test, is the pulsing vase. This one is a single light that will give you a uh, steady white or alternating red and white if you're all right. Flashing white is out of sight, like way up there with the twinkling stars. Steady red, and you better watch your head. Flashing red, and you're dead. Flashing white, like the stars up high, and flashing red, like crash, you're dead. Did you know that people are more likely to remember and believe things simply because they rhyme? Hopefully my little rhymes will help you on your test. 
I'll try to rhyme most of the time. Federal regulations are really icky, but rhymes will help make them sticky. Well, that just about does it for lighting and rhyming. Runways are white, taxiways are blue, green is good, and red means expensive repair bills past this point. You thought I was going to rhyme again, didn't you? Flashing yellow that looks like a train signal means that you hold short until clearance is given. So as we approach the end, red and white, you're all right. Red over red, you're dead. White over white, out of sight. And land at night, you better see green and white. So now that you're familiar with most of the common types of airport lighting that you'll see, uh, there are some others, but uh, they're so obscure I didn't think it was worth mentioning in this video so as not to overwhelm you. Check the Pilot's Handbook of Aeronautical Knowledge for uh, more aeronautical information. There's a companion video to this that will also cover uh, signs, and signs and symbols, but that one's a bit more complex, so I thought this one would be a better topic to come first. Click the subscribe button if you haven't already, so that you can be notified when the next video is out. And connect with me on PalTap if you need a quick video chat. There's a lot more ground school to come, so stay with me on 121 Point Mike.